The ad I chose is created by the Malaysia Nature Society. The ad's purpose is to fight against deforestation by urging the audience to donate to the society. This ad is convincing because of the graphics, words, and objects used to visually and rhetorically appeal to the audience. Here is the ad. The background is light brown and there is a log with a red tapir shown on it. The ad's main words say, cut a tree, kill a life. This ad's background is a plain solid light brown color, which directs our eyes to the main focus of the ad, which is a cut down tree with a tapir. The background design visually supports the main object by the color used. The light brown matches the main object, which is dark brown. Additionally, the background is not too fancy, so the color does not distract the audience from the ad's main focus. The ad correlates a chopped down tree with a tapir by the main words and main objects used. The main object of this ad is a log that is dark brown with a bright red inner core. The bright red is probably blood. The blood is shaped like a tapir with some red drippings. It is a simple drawing for the audience to see and absorb quickly. The words on the log say, cut a tree, kill a life. The words correlate the death of a tree with the death of an animal in six simple words. The main words are effective because they are short and precise in complementing to the ads purpose. The main object of this ad graphically shows the correlation that the main words of the ad present. The tapir is drawn in red and looks like it is bleeding. This symbolizes that the tapir is dying. So the graphic shows that a chopped down tree kills a tapir. In the tree, even the little branch is red inside. This probably means that the entire tree is supporting the tapir and having it cut down makes the tapir die. The audience will correlate a direct relationship between a tree getting cut down with a tapir dying through the graphics used. The smaller words under the main words say, Deforestation takes food and shelter away from the Malaysian tapir. Preserving the rainforest of Belem Temenger will give their future a chance. Join the Malaysian Nature Society and make your donations at www.mns.mi. The ad's words further describe deforestation and the correlation of the ad's purpose with the graphic shown. The main idea of the graphic is that a cut tree leads to a dying tapir. The written words support it by giving the reason to why deforestation leads to the deaths of tapirs because it takes away the necessary food and shelter for the animals. Lastly, the ad goes on to say how the audience should donate to the Malaysian Nature Society. These words correlate well with the ad's drawings. In the drawing, a tapir is wrapped inside the tree, which shows how the tree shelters the animal. As the tree is cut, the blood flows from the tapir, which shows how a tapir is living because of the tree and will die without the tree supporting it. So the audience can make donations and join the Malaysian Nature Society. The ad is effective because of the significant amount of pathos used in this ad. Through showing a cute tapir dying by the tree's death, it tugs on the audience's emotions and sympathy for tapirs. The audience would feel the need to act for the wrongdoing done to the tapirs. The words used in the ad, kill a life, and also give their future a chance, are emotionally appealing to the audience. Not much ethos is used in this ad. The ad uses logos by logically explaining the ad's purpose step by step. The ad logically explains 
that the trees provide food and shelter for the tapirs, so the animals are dying when deforestation occurs. Then it goes on to say that preserving the rainforest will save the animals. So the ad logical explains how preserving the rainforest will help the tapirs. However, the ad does not explain how the Malaysian Nature Society will help save the rainforest. One fault about the ad is that it never specifically says how the Malaysian Nature Society will decrease deforestation. It just says that deforestation is terrible and kills tapirs, so the Belum Temenggur rainforest needs to be preserved. Then the ad jumps to say that the audience should donate to the Malaysian Nature Society without saying how the Malaysian Nature Society will be preserving the rainforest. The audience is ordinary people. Especially those who are interested in helping dying animals, because the ad shows the death of tapirs by deforestation. The ad properly reaches the audience through the understandable language and simple sentences used. The ad is effective because of the understandable and concise words and graphics, and of the meaningful correlation between the graphics and words to create a clear purpose for the ad. This ad convinces the audience because of the strong pathos rhetorical appeal. The end.